Hey, so it's one in the morning for me right now, but I can't sleep, so I'll just be making this video instead, just to kind of both keep me company and, um, hell, by the end of it, I'll probably be asleep. First off, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching my content. It's uh, very, very pleasing to see that people actually somewhat enjoy my content, even though it's bottom of the garbage, but hey. But anyways, into the main point of this video. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. It's, uh, it's god-awful. And onto the main point, which is Netflix. Netflix, Netflix, the corporation, not the service. I haven't used this service in a while. The service being, of course, just the actual, like, program itself. I haven't used it in a while, uh, two years to be exact. I'm one of those people that shared passwords, but it was with my grandma, because we're in, like, the same household. But I didn't use it since 2020, mainly because the pile of dog shit they just kept kicking out. Especially cuties, that fucking thing sucked ass. Not to mention the other abominable shows. Including, but not limited to, Emily in Paris, Hoops, Real Rob, Haters Back Off, Pretty Smart, The God's Favorite Idiot, Super Drag, and finally Prank Encounters, but there is much, 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 much more than that. Today we're not going to be talking about their shitty ass catalog, we're going to be talking about shitty ass business practices. Remember the whole no sharing passwords thing? Well, apparently they backtracked on that shit. They're claiming that it was some oopsie daisy, some little error there that, you know, just slipped out, you know. <laughs> some, something that all happens, you know, you send a little dick pic, you know, it gets leaked, you know, that type of, type of error, apparently. I don't believe them personally. I feel like they did that, but the backlash and the bullying was so severe that they said, okay, we're not going to do it yet, but we're going to do it later, which they are. Apparently, they said they're going to do it later, though. Which sucks for a lot of people, especially people who can't afford it but share passwords. I mean, for example, for example, my grandma has a Netflix account that she pays for, but one of her friends borrows the account to be able to use it because she can't afford that that's been talked about a lot the whole you know oh they're backpedal thing so i want to focus on something else right now and that is the terrible payment plan come on be honest you thought i was joking about that payment thing just look at this fucking bullshit so for seven dollars i can get basic with ads which doesn't make fucking sense why would i pay a service to get fucking ads that makes no sense but anyways then there's basic with ads for $9.99. Then there's standard, which is $15.49, which makes no fucking sense. Why not just make it $15.99, but whatever. And then you got premium, which is $19.99. Still a fucking lot just for a month. I mean, $20 a month for a streaming service that gives you god-awful fucking originals? Yeah, I don't think so. But back to the basics with ads. Why would I pay $7 a month to get a streaming service that gives me ads? Fucking Peacock sucks dick, yet they have better offers than this crap. Shit, I'd rather go fucking HBO, and they have one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my life. But anyways, even besides that one, yes, it gets even worse. Apparently, according to them themselves, there is over 100 million households worldwide that use shared passwords, and for some reason, they want to get rid of that. Now, I get greedy corporation wants to get some fucking money, but your fucking multi-billion dollar, if not million dollar company, why would you need 100 million people to just sign up? And even then, let's just say in a miracle world that they you know, get rid of the passwords and everyone's honky-dory. Let me tell you something, those 100 million people are not going to sign back up. You have one of the worst catalogs I have ever seen. Your search thing is dog shit to begin with. And on top of that, your payment is absolutely insane. Having Netflix is pretty much considered a luxury in my opinion. You know, having any streaming site that you pay for really is a luxury, but still. Those hundreds of millions of people, or I should say households, it's probably more people than the household, but you get my point. Those people are not going to sign back up, let me tell you that. Even if, like, again, like I said, even if the passwords were like, oh my god, you know, that's a, that's a lifesaver or whatever the fuck. They're not coming back. You know, you put out horrible originals. The only thing good, a lot of the time, is documentaries about bad people. Those are really the only actually good originals that come out of Netflix. But other than that, there's really nothing that is of value. I mean, maybe there are a few shows that are good, but that's a show. Like, that's not really a feature 
you know, fucking length film. And even then, a lot of the shows are dog shit. You're getting like 99% dog shit, 1% actually good. But even, you know, fuck it, even besides all of that, let's just say all those aren't problems. Everyone's honky-dory with that. Netflix, you have a huge outage problem. And not only outage, but fucking buffering, too. I swear, you can have, like, an amazing, amazing Wi-Fi, a 4K whole TV, and yet Netflix, for some reason, will be buffering again and again. For example, my family has Spectrum. Spectrum is not that horrible. I prefer, you know, Frontier Fiber Optic, but hey, you know, that's just me. But, fuck that, whatever. Even with Fiber Optic, I've been to my friend's house, he has Fiber Optic Internet, and he has a 4K TV. We were watching Netflix, and that motherfucker was buffering like crazy. Even though his internet was fully up, and his TV was working perfectly fine, it was just Netflix itself. And there wasn't any server downs, or like any outages, or anything like that. It was just the servers itself are extremely slow. Maybe it's just because there's a lot of people, but I mean, you're a multi-million, if not billion dollar company. How can you not handle that? Like, you have the resources, you have the backing, you have the investors, you have the money, you can do it. Which that actually brings me into a little side, uh, saying, I suppose. A lot of people really despise hate watching, which is understandable. Watching a show just to purely hate it is kind of stupid. But the problem is... For a show like Velma, if it came out on HBO or Netflix or any multi-million dollar company, it doesn't matter if you ignore it or watch it, either way, it's a million dollar company. They're just going to keep pumping out stuff like that because there are dedicated people that will watch that. And even if, let's say no one watches it, right? They still have the money, they still have the resources, they can still freaking do it. Back to the main point of Netflix's password sharing, you might have been thinking, what about traveling? Because, you know, some people like to watch Netflix while they travel, which makes sense. I used to watch Netflix with my family when we traveled a lot, but now that is outlaw and that is a fucking crime, apparently. What do I mean by that? I mean, when traveling, you will have a temporary code set for seven days for some fucking reason. So if you're gone for a month, two months, or hell, <laughs> God forbid, you're gone for eight days, you're fucked, my friend. It is the stupidest thing I have ever seen, mainly because traveling isn't like going to the next town. That's not traveling, that's just visiting. Traveling is like going cross-country, maybe even across two states. So how are you going to get back in fucking seven days if you're staying there for, let's say, four? Like, if you're across three, four states, it's going to take longer than probably three days or four days, whatever the time is that you have left. It's going to take longer than that because, you know, you have to take stops, you have to find places to sleep, and even then, you know, you're fucked at the end. I swear, Netflix cannot just stop taking L's. I don't think they've taken a single W since, what, fucking 2014? It's just been god-awful since then. I seriously have no clue what the hell is happening on the inside of Netflix. It just seems that everyone is just monkeys hitting goddamn symbols and just fucking no thought, just screaming while hitting the symbols. Like, it doesn't make sense why do such horrible practices. I mean, come on. They thought Cuties was probably the fucking best show ever, and now they're doing fucking password sharing bullcrap. Let's go! So, before I end this video, I just wanted to say something real quick. Both my TikTok videos got completely copyright striked, and on top of that, they fucking flatlined. But even after taking out what was copyright and whatever, after taking out all of that, putting in new stuff, putting in new audio and stuff, just to make sure it was, you know, copyright free, it died. It flatlined. The video just completely got obliterated by YouTube's shadow overlords. And I don't get it. It's the exact fucking same thing. It, literally just new audio is added, and I guess YouTube saw that and was like, meh. We're not gonna, you know, promote that shit. Or probably because it's a re-upload and YouTube doesn't give a shit about those. But anyways, I hope you guys had a good day, good night, whatever it is for you right now. And I just wanted to share this news about Netflix as well as give a little rant about my YouTube problems. But anyways, besides from that, uh, love you guys. See ya.